hello welcome to everyone in this video this is our lecture number 37 we already covered 36 lecture we solve the problem asked in the electricity magnetism by Vasudev Ghosh book in this chapter 1 to 5 we already cover and in this chapter 6 question number 1 to 13 we already cover in the previous lecture right in the this is the part 22 that is 21 part consist of this solution right and the rest of the uh, lectures actually solve the problem asked in dj griffith electrodynamics by dj griffith whose chapter 2 and chapter 3 we already cover so if you want to watch the previous lecture that is the solution of previous uh, chapter of questions you can go through this description box link given in the description box and if you want to watch the theoretical part of these things you can also go to the description box there are the separate playlist right so let's start today's discussion of question number 14 to for question number 19 of chapter 6 which says about the electrical image problem okay so i request all of you before watch this video you must watch the previous two lectures such that you can understand this lectures very uh, easily right so uh, to understand this lecture you must grow to this lecture number 35 and 36 to uh know about the basic concept of electrical image problem okay after that you watch this uh, video is it will be helpful or beneficial for you next here uh, we go to the question that is question number 14 which says that is a conducting sphere of radius a is placed in a uniform electric field e0 right so this is a conducting electric uh, sphere is placed in uniform electric field so that minimum charge that to be given to the sphere so that no uh, so that no part of the sphere is negatively charged is this so you need to place this amount of charge so that there will be no negative charge within this sphere so for that we can consider the electric field by replacing these two charges that is plus q charge and minus q charge so the electric field at the center will be like that you know this positive this electric field and that direction for negative this will be that direction this will be the additive so finally we got this electric field at the center so we can say that is this pair is as if at the uh, in this electric field region if you take this radius is very small compared to this d then it is uh, obvious that is this pair is within this electric field so this condition is satisfied that this these two charge form this electric field and now if you take this uh, sphere uh, is in front of these two charges so this induced charge you know about that is qa by d at this distance and the, for this this is minus qa by d about that distance so to know about this expression you must go through the previous lecture their detailed this description of derivation of these two expression are given there so we'll be got this image charge these two are image charge this minus q is image charge q a by d and for plus q this image charge is like so there is four charges now then at any point suppose p is any point with position vector uh, position coordinate of position is r theta the potential at that point is nothing but this q by that distance by q this q by that distance and this q by that distance this is so for these two four charges you will be get this four term in the potential expression after getting the potential uh, you will be get this uh, that uh, assumption that is d is very much greater than r that is this uh, the, because if you wants to uniform electric field so you must take these two charges far distance as that in this region that is region at the near the center of the sphere must be Mm, cons uh, must must be uniform such that d is greater than very much greater than r so if you take the r is two these two are similar and these two are similar term so if you take these two similar term and assuming this condition that is very d is very much greater than two r you will be get one by d with uh, this summation and you will be get this expression and the another two form you will be get this expression so finally we got these two uh, finally you got these two expression in this formation just taking this uh, assumption that is d is very much greater than 2r should d take the d square as a common you will be get 1 by d and this r square by d square and so on and using the binomial theorem neglecting this order because d is very much greater than 2r so this is negligible negligible this is neglected 
neglected compared to this other term and using the binomial theorem ax whole to the power n whole to the power n equals to 1 plus nx and so on so only take these two term you will be get this one and similarly for that you will be get this one so the final potential expression if you put these two uh, assumption in this expression you will be get this expression uh, this is the potential so after getting the potential you know uh, uh, we can find out the surface charge density that is minus epsilon del phi del r at the boundary condition so if you derivative with respect to r of this expression and put this value at r equals to a you will be get this expression okay so this is the surface charge density and e0 you know u0 is equals to e0 equals to this value so replace this e0 in terms of e0 okay so this is the surface charge density after getting surface charge density total charge will be because the maximum maximum possibility of surface charge density will be like that so the total charge will be like that so if you place this amount of positive charge then there will be no negative charge all will be the positive charge there is a variation of charge density but in the maximum case if you take that is the this amount of charge if you placed within this sphere then there will be no negative charge within this sphere right if there is any doubt or any query or any suggestion you must comment in the comment box go to the next question consider an earth conducting sphere of radius a earth conducting sphere of radius a and point charge placed at a distance 2a this distance is 2a so that the induced surface charge density at the nearest point and the far farthest point with the ratio dash so this surface charge density at here and here with the ratio of that you know from the previous lecture that is the potential for this configuration is slightly with that because due to q charge here and this is minus q a by d d is q by 2 so put this value you will be get this expression and then surface charge density will be like that two uh, oh, was this expression how this expression arises you can go through this previous lecture you will be get this link uh, uh, you will be get this answer that is how the surface charge density for this case will be arise like that here this d is 2a so if you put this value the surface charge density expression becomes like that now the nearest point where theta is 0 nearest point means that point and theta is this angle so theta is 0 so cos 0 is so cos 0 is 1 that's it the value will be like that and for this point cos 180 degree is minus 1 so the value will be like that so if you ratio these two uh, surface charge density at the nearest point and and the furthest point this become like that 27 is to 1 clear i think clear go to the next question as you, uh, a quantity uh, a quantity of charge q placed in a small conducting sphere of radius l q charge is uh, with small uh, radius a now it taken to a large earth conducting plane this is a large conducting plane at a distance d where d is very much greater than to a so that the result of this uh, sp potential sphere reduced to this so since d is very much greater than to a you can take this surface charge uh, this is sphere charge on the sphere as a point charge because this a is very small compared to this d so we can take this is a uh, point charge when we come uh, taking account into d right so this point charge can be from a um, point image charge like that so this is a real charge and this is a image charge so if, if you does, does not take this conducting plane then the potential on the surface will be q by 4 pi epsilon naught a now due to earth conducting plane the potential will be like that because there is two uh, component that is q by 4 pi epsilon naught a and the, due to this charge there will be also because there a is very small so this can be neglected when compared to d that's why this total separation here actually we find out the potential that point so this separation will be 2d that's why q by 4 pi epsilon naught a 1 minus a by 2d so finally you get this is phi 0 so we get that is the potential is the 1 by uh, 1 minus a by 2d times the initial value right so that's it for this question go to the next one which says a point charge q is placed at a distance d from the infinite grounded plane okay let o is the foot of the perpendicular from q so this is q and this is foot that is o find the radius of the q on the plane center or r which contains the half of total induced charge so you need to find out the radius in which the total charge of this conductor which is minus q are situated in this region in the half right so from this potential expression from this expression you know this is the potential expression and the corresponding surface charge density will be like that 
that is del phi del z at z equals to 0 this is z axis actually we take this as a z axis sorry this is as a z axis and at this is the z equals to 0 right so this is a z axis and z equal to 0 so the surface charge density will be like that del phi del z at the constant with z equals to 0 so if you derivative with respect to z you will be get this expression and then if you put this value z equals to 0 you will be get this expression so the corresponding the charge density if you take this radius as a r so you will get this expression that within this that region the total charge will be the half of the induced charge so the induced charge will be minus q so the half of the um, uh, total charge is minus q by 2 and if you take this is small region that is r so 2 pi r dr so this is this uh, charge density and multiply the area will be charged and you can take this r square equal to x square plus y square you will be get this expression and put as a substitution you will be get this one just taking this calculation you will be finally get this radius will be root 3d that is in which that is the circle on the plate this circle on this plate on this plate will be the half of the charge which actually induced in the total area of this that is root 3 d within that region the charge density is half that means you can consider that is the total uh, if you take this is a total infinite plane within that uh, uh, region total half of the total charge induced like that and so uh, uh, are um, in the further region this will be half that means the charge density is um, uh, higher at the center and it will be reduces in, in radially and this will be the mostly prominent in this uh, central region this will be the mostly confined and outer region this will be reduces drastically clear uh, go to the next one which says a point charge uh, 10 coulomb is placed at a distance 25 distance uh, centimeter from the center of a octet conducting sphere of radius 10 centimeter find the magnitude and position uh, of the possible image charges right so you know the possible image charge this is and the position will be like that so for this value you will be get this answer basically no problem and the uh, maximum surface charge density the surface charge density expression like that and maximum value will be like that put this value you will be get this answer okay this is very easy just uh, knowing this formula you can get the answer go to the next question a point charge q is located between two earth intersecting conducting plane that are incli inclined at 60 degree to each other so these two plane are inclined uh, 60 degree to each other so finally you can say you know the number of each actually this is a uh, like a uh, mirror image uh, or case, uh, actually in the form of mirror image right so you can say that the number of image will be the 360 by 60 minus uh, i think you remember in the previous section we will be discuss about this uh, in detail there will be the image will be uh, 4 like so this will was actually 360 by 90 minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 that is 3 this minus 1 actually the real charges and these are the images okay so in that case this is also 360 by 60 minus 1 that is 5 number of image actually required to find out this uh, formation and this position will be like that this is 60 degree mm, so this must be on the same direction so this is 60 degree at uh, some angle theta if this angle theta this angle also theta minus theta actually and this with that this angle is theta and this is 60 so this is distance are equal so this angle will be uh, 60 plus theta right so after that you will be get 120 plus theta and so on so, so this like a hexagon this uh, this point uh, will be like a hexagon regular hexagon okay so this point charge will be situated like here oh, oh, oh. among them one is real charge and the if this is real and this is the imaginary or image charge okay this are image charge so this is actually the situation which arises in case of this clear so that's it for today 
if there is any doubt any suggestion any query you must comment in the comment box and if you want to, to the previous you can go through the description box you will be get the link and you, if you want to download the pdf of this slide you can go through the description the link given in this description box okay so that's it for today in the next class we will be discussed in the upcoming uh question of this book and with the dj griffith also i think in the dj griffith uh, solution dialectic properties of this material was uh, the next topic that we must uh, discussed in our uh, series of this solution okay so that's for today and that's it for today this is all about me and this is my contact detail you can go and join to this my telegram channel such that you can get this notification of this uh, video and for pdf copy also just as that you can link up with me and these are the other platform and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel we get this others video regarding physics some mathematics some competitive examination advanced math geometry reasoning if you want to go to this description box, so, uh, this channel like this session this is i think you can do this because this is help me to encourage and that's it for and share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video and subscribe this channel if you new in this channel on those already subscribed thanks for subscription and press the bell icon to get the notification of our upcoming video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you